I am looking at the topic heat maps in MATLAB. So generally heat map is not uh, directly available as a keyword heat map in MATLAB so uh, that creates a bit of a trouble. There are some links that uh, suggest that heat map command does exist but I was not able to find that with the default uh, MATLAB setup that I have. So this is uh, being done by a different way. There are some custom APIs which are available which are a paid option which means that people have developed code which they can share. There are questions that uh, how to use heat map without uh, the paid option so we will be looking at the option here. So to create the heat map uh, we would be using uh, two things uh, first uh, uh, we would be using contours and uh, then we would be using uh, the color map. So we need to understand how contour work, look at a sample code and also understand how to uh, uh, convert our code into the contour and then we need to understand the color schemes that heat map has. So the first step is creating contour. I have created a contour of uh, uh, two dimensions. So to define the contour we have to first define the surface. Uh, in this example we have defined surface that ranges from 1 to 10 on the x and the y axis. And then we define the mesh grid which is the surface upon which we will have Z or H in this case which would define its height. So if we want to create a contour out of uh, uh, these dimensions we can do that. After we have created the contour we can then uh, fill it with color. So just if you don't remember contour you can go back to mesh grid. So mesh grid uh, will have uh, the z axis as per uh, the size of the function that is given here z and you will have a gradient uh, surface uh, of z and then you can use color bar to draw this up. So I will show you this example. So once we have created the contour we can then use uh, contour peaks and contour maps to draw our chart. So this is the sample code that I have used with a dummy data. The first part here is uh, just to create the contour which is uh, for the first six lines and then we have created the color map which will be a heat map for different zones. So let's look at how to start here. So we have a file that has data in a given format. Our first uh, uh, work would be to distribute the data into this format where we have x and y. So this is x and this is y and this is z which is the value. So let's go to the code. So when I run just this, I would get a contour. I can create a surface out of this and uh, I can work with surface as well. Once I have the contour, I can create the color map. So in this color map, if you observe, they are using the scheme for hot 8. Let me show you the scheme for hot 8. So this is hot which means that this is hot and this is cool. <coughs> so anything which is bulging, bulging out is hot and anything here is cool. Let's try to analyze this with our data that we have. So we have H. I'm opening H. Let's try to in the meantime open this. So somewhere around 3 these values are higher and somewhere <coughs> around 8.5 these values are lower. Let's see. This is 8.5.62.91 and these values are lower. So we have uh, this whole area of low values, this whole area of high values. So we can draw a heat map which will show us when the when it, where it gets hot and where it gets cool. So this is a, a very simple code. The other code that I was talking about is looking at uh, this color bar example. So this is a mesh grid example here. The height is being depicted as a color bar. So that's how we would uh, look at the things. Uh oh. probably some trouble here but not a problem. So 
we can even draw a gradient I think uh, the problem here goes with y but anyways this is how we are going to look at let's look at the color bar scheme so the color bar scheme we have are these color bars we can use hot we can use jet or any of <coughs> these color scheme to mark our color map so that this color map work. yeah this is the match diagram that I was talking about so uh, the place where it gets lower has a particular color the place where it gets higher it has a particular cover color so that was a very short introduction to heat map using uh, two things here which is uh, uh, the contour and the color map if you don't use the contour you will get a gradient or some height something like this so let me show you what would happen if you just use with some random values you will get something like this uh, places where it is down and places where it has higher so this is how if you just you use peak then you can check out uh, some of the areas where you will have just peaks uh, it would be in the form of gradient so let me show you how that would look so peaks would be just this peak so if you observe this is down this is up blue depicts that you are going down and red depicts that you are going up so we have just uh, changed this into a contour map to remove that uh, 3d area and what we have finally is the heat map so this was uh, in very short about the heat maps in MATLAB if you have any question please feel free to write me